30 minute music hour. I'm Andy Moore tonight from Madison, Wisconsin by way of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Mr. Nick Brown. summer rain if you get caught up in it like a summer rain I fall in love with every woman that I ever meet and I drink everything put in front of me I throw my money off the backs of trains And I don't understand not living that way 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 Stand all living that way. <laughs> all right. Dreams. 
If I could, if I could teach the stars to light up one by one, make a little path that leads you to me. my front porch light on hope that it's the one that you will see don't you step out too far in the night don't you run too fast make your way back to Cardinal Street softly you're walking on my dreams walk softly you're walking on my dreams yeah thank you thank you uh, here's a little song I wrote called hold on Windsor um, and I guess I'll let it explain itself, even though it doesn't do that very well. Hold on, Windsor, I'm coming back. I slept all night on a pillow made of cash. I'm gonna pull that lever, then I'm gonna roll the dice. I wanna burn, burn, burn like the northern light. If I had a gun, I'd shoot the moon Pick up the pieces falling out of the wound I'd pick them all up, spread them all over your town Use them to blight my way when the sun goes down Hello, border, hello, light came to win, I did not come to fight Over the Detroit River, across the Ambassador Bridge Rinsing in the rear view, they're gonna know the shape I'm in Hold on, Windsor, I'm coming back Slept all night on a pillow made of cash I'm gonna pull that lever Then I'm gonna roll the dice I wanna burn, burn, burn Like the northern lights I wanna burn, burn, burn Like the northern lights Thank you, Andy. This is Nick Brown from Madison, but originally from Michigan. You born in the UP and then Ann Arbor after that? That's right. Born in the UP and then did most of my growing up in Ann Arbor. Uh, went to college in Michigan and then moved on. Well, you moved on like, like to the belly of the songwriter beast. You went from, from college right to Austin, right? Yeah. That was the idea. I wanted to go into the belly. Uh, so to speak, um, uh, and try to get into uh, songwriting down there, which I did 20% of the time, and then 80% of the time I focused on cleaning people's swimming pools. <laughs> well, that must have been an inspiring a combination. Uh, it's, it's, it was hot. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but you you majored in journalism uh, in college, right? I did, um, and and sort of took that into your songwriting. I guess you didn't apply that into the the pool cleaning, but. Being in Austin in those years had to mean playing in a ton of bars. And what does a player learn playing in taverns and bars in front of crowds that may or may not be altogether present? Yeah, that's a really good way to put it. Um, it's a funny thing because you're, it's not like a, a, a nice venue or a nice place like this where um, the people are more coming to you. Uh, you have to go to them. And that, that's pretty hard to do if you're just talking about a setup like this with a guitar and uh, I'm kind of naked up here, you know? So um, 
somehow you have to try to get control of the room. Um, I'm not sure I've quite mastered well, how I've to do seen, that. Well, I've seen you get control of a room, and you gotta, you have to find that focus somewhere. What are some of the tricks of the trade that you learn when you're, when you're playing in those loud bar rooms? I really don't know. I, th I think, I mean, I think if you could tell a story, you can get people. But I also recommend uh, staring people down a lot in kind of a threatening or menacing way. <laughs> that can be effective. What, what would that look look like? Well, well <laughs> that is terrifying. I, this is a family show. Yeah, I was and laughing a children a little bit right as I was yeah. doing it. But you, I can see it. It's, yeah. it's pretty intense. You look pretty yeah. deep. But yeah, and plus you're a big guy, so. Yeah. Uh, so Austin for about half dozen years. Yeah, a little shy of that. But um, and then you enough. told me that you <clears throat> you went from there, you know, no rest for the wicked, to New Hampshire for a newspaper job. I did. I took a job writing for a community newspaper up there where I was a news reporter covering six teeny tiny towns where the the average story is uh, uh, seventy five year old triplets are having a birthday party. <laughs> How would you describe the people in New Hampshire? Oh, uh, wow, I wasn't expecting that question, and I don't want to insult a whole state. <laughs> oh, did that mean it's bad? No, no, no. Uh, how, would you, how would I phrase this? Uh, many people come in all forms in this crazy world. New Hampshire's no exception. Wow. Sounds like you, you, you could run for office, New Hampshire. It's a that really interesting like that. state. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But not for, interesting enough, not for Nick Brown. <laughs> because he's out of there, like in a couple of years, right? And then to Wisconsin. Yeah, live, live free or die. Um, moved to Wisconsin about four years ago now, mm -hmm. or a little, little longer ago. There's journalism in your DNA. Your, your father was a newspaper man. Isn't that what you told me? That's right, yeah. And um, I don't know if she's going to mind me saying this. My mom actually worked in, at least worked in radio, mm -hmm. and then spent a long time in communications as well, so. Well, you've got some newspaper in, in, in your next song, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. Um, so maybe you could set that up and I'll, and I'll leave the newsroom. Sounds like a plan. Right. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, um, this is a song, uh, like I said, a lot of the stories uh, that I would be working on would be the, the birthday party for the triplets or um, uh, flooding at the local Kmart was quite a big issue that kept coming up. Um, <clears throat> occasionally there'd be some very serious real news um, and, and I got a call or I got a fax actually I believe it was from the Attorney General's office one day and um, from that several years later after thinking about it for a while and what an interesting compelling story it was from that came this song um, uh, we'll call it uh, Melanie Cooper <laughs> I turn 38 tonight When I was 17 I loved Melanie Cooper She was 15 when I met her in July When she laid her lips upon mine It was the first time I ever felt right turned 16 she left New Hampshire ran away in the middle of the night left with her mother stay with her aunt Jennifer where her stepdad Danny couldn't find him he was a bad man carried an angry hand Seven long months they were quiet When Melanie Cooper came back to New Hampshire 
She was scared and I said I'd make it right She told me she loved me And then she went quiet Looked like something might have changed in her eyes She said she might return Stay with her Aunt Jennifer I didn't tell her but I thought that I might die I borrowed my dad's gun 700 Mount Remington It was springtime so he wouldn't notice I picked up Melanie in my mom's Chevrolet And she asked me where we were going I didn't tell her where Like I didn't know for sure Like the Chevy was driving on its own Parked behind a fence of stone Separated by a pine grove Danny was standing in his yard He had his shirt off At about 100 yards Through the scope I could see that far Melanie didn't move She didn't say anything I told her, go lay down in the car. Twenty years later, Melanie Cooper told the DA what I had done, how I started shaking there. How I said I'd do it Just as soon as the flavor left my gum And how after the shot rang I rubbed mud on my license plate How I told her that the hard times were done In the 21 years since I've been working construction Melanie Cooper met a man and found God She moved out west somewhere I hadn't seen her in 19 years Till I saw her in the courthouse hall Little bit of gray in her hair She was a stranger there not much different than a shadow on the wall My name is Eric Winters Jr. I got nine Thank you very much. Um, I should say that that song and uh, actually a lot of these that I'm playing here today are, are on an album um, that I just recorded. Um, uh, the album's going to be coming. It's called Slow Boat. It's going to be coming out in uh, summer 2012, um, and I'm pretty proud of it and excited about it. Uh, so that's that. Here's uh, one of the first songs I ever wrote. Um, it's called Kissing Tree. Uh, it being one of the first songs I ever wrote, me being a younger man, uh, naturally it's about uh, making out with girls. Um, there were two kind of main subject areas I was into at the time I wrote this. One of them was making out with girls, and the other one was uh, the Detroit Tigers being awesome. Um, a lot of those songs about the Detroit Tigers being awesome uh, didn't really stand the test of time, believe it or not. Um, but... 
uh, this one might have held up a little better. It's called Kissing Tree. Increased tempo of a heartbeat. Raise bumps upon the skin. I'm not saying I don't like it. You're the reason for the shape I'm in. I got family up in heaven. I got friends up in the sky. Well, I'm up here on the ground. Please don't you say goodbye. Color ground, color ground. Been so long, I've been down. You are the prettiest thing that I've ever seen. Let me meet you by the kissing tree. You can scream at midnight. You can whisper in your sleep. Watch the sunrise with a bird's eye. Please, won't you come with me? Color ground, color ground. Been so long, I've been down. You are the prettiest thing that I've ever seen. Let me meet you by the kissing tree. Let me meet you by the kissing tree. Let me meet you by the Do a couple more here. Thank you very much and, and thanks for having me out there in TV land. This one's called I Will Be Gone. Uh, it's uh, based on certain true events. be gone just as soon as I can be soon as I get that money to fix up my van it's the same one we kissed in the day your mom left your dad I will be gone I will be gone I will be gone just as soon as I can be I will be gone just as soon as we marry. Don't tell your sisters, just grab what you can carry. I know that we got something, but it's just not here. And I will be gone. I will be gone. I will be gone just as soon as we marry. I got a restless heart There's too much in between Well, I've been looking for something You've been looking at me I will be gone just as soon as I'm taken dirt I was born in is the dirt that I'll die in You still look pretty even when you're forsaken I will be gone I will be gone I will be gone just as soon as I'm taken I will be gone I will be gone 
I will be gone just as soon as I'm taken. Thank you. Here's one more. Uh, it's an album coming out summer uh, 2012. This one's called Smoke is a thing, Thin Stuff. And uh, thanks so much for having me here. Smoke is a thin stuff that rises up towards heaven. Subtracted from something on the ground when it gets burned. Floats in the breeze and it whispers about its freedom. Waits for the rest to join it. Among the birds Oh my lord Look at this old house Creaks and groans Stinks like hell